Alright, welcome to a video on the Pythagorean Theorem and its converse. So, we are starting to deal with mainly a lot, a lot of right triangles. That's basically what we're doing this whole unit. So, let's get started with the Pythagorean Theorem. So, the Pythagorean Theorem, simply stated, it's used to find missing sides of a right triangle given two sides. You see we have right triangle with sides A, B, and C. A and B are the legs of that triangle, and C is the hypotenuse. So whenever we're doing our Pythagorean theorem, we always want A and B to be the legs and C to be the hypotenuse. That way it follows this formula here of A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This works in every single right triangle. If you take leg squared plus leg squared, it will equal your hypotenuse squared. And that's very beneficial for us because it means we can find missing sides if we know two of the sides. So let's actually do some math with some numbers. So here we have a right triangle on the left with side 6, 8, and x. Obviously we want to find the value of x. And we look and it looks like x is our hypotenuse. So that means it's going to be the C in that formula. So we get 6 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. And now what we do is simplify with algebra. So we get 36 plus 64 equals x squared. So 100 equals x squared. So we take the square root. And the square root of 100 is 10. So it looks like x equals 10. On the right, we have a right triangle with legs of y and 6, and the hypotenuse 12. So we're trying to find one of the legs. It does not matter if you put the leg in place of a or b. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. I normally like when I'm solving for a leg to put it first. So y squared plus 6 squared equals 12 squared. So y squared plus 36 equals 144. So y squared equals 108. Take the square root. And it looks like we get to do some simplifying of that radical. Always, always, always simplify. Let's try 2, and we get 54. We can do 2 again, and we get 2 and 27. 27 is 3 and 9. We get 3 and 3. Pair of 3s. Pair of 2s. So y equals 6 square root 3. So, here are two right triangles that I want you to use the Pythagorean Theorem to solve for. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Right, and here are the solutions to those two examples. Go ahead and check your work with mine. And now let's talk about the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. We're going to use the converse to determine if a triangle is right, acute, or obtuse. So, normally we did this whenever we actually knew what the angle measures are. Now, we don't know what the angle measures are, we only know the sides. Well, with this converse to our Pythagorean theorem, we can figure out if that triangle is right, acute, or obtuse. And here's how it works. We're going to do the Pythagorean theorem basically all the way through until we get to the end. So we're always going to start out with our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're always going to assume the biggest side is our c, is our hy supposed hypotenuse. So the biggest number there we're always going to put in place of c. Now if we work through it and we see that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then we know that it is a right triangle. If we see that a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then we know it's an acute triangle. 
If we see that a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then we know it's an obtuse triangle. All right, so let's put that into practice. So I'm going to do the two on the left. So we have three, two, and four. So like I said, we're going to set it up like it is. Pythagorean theorem, so our biggest side on the this one is four. So we have two squared plus three squared, and we're just going to say equals four squared. We'll change that if we need to at the end. So two squared is four plus nine equals 16. Four plus nine is 13, 16. So this is greater. So third, I'm sorry. So 16 is greater than 13. So 13 is less than 16. If it's less than, if we look back here, that means that it is obtuse. So we have an obtuse triangle here. Okay, now on the lower left, we I have just three numbers here. These are the sides of a triangle, and they are ordered from smallest to largest, so that number on the right will be our possible hypotenuse. So we have 8 squared plus 10 squared equals 17 squared. 8 squared is 64 plus 100 equals, I have to grab my calculator, 17 times 17, 289. So 164 and 289. So again, it looks like this is obtuse. All right. I want you to do the two on the right as your practice. So go ahead and pause the video and do those now. All right. And here are the solutions to those. So after you check your answers with mine, you will be done with this lesson.